One, two, three. Hi guys, this is Ken from KenHanswood.com. So um, in this video, we're going to feature five different types of uh, dishes available here in Penang, which could represent the cultural mix environment here. Um, just follow me and I'll show you around. So we are at McAllister Road. We are going to eat a, a very nice Hokkien meat, more like a breakfast food or sometimes brunch. Hokkien refers to the name of the cultural groups under Chinese, while mi refers to noodles. A typical bowl of um, Hokkien meat consists of uh, yellow noodles, vermicelli noodles, and likely blanche, and they um, assemble the noodle with hard-boiled eggs, pork ribs, uh, shrimps, and completed with a spoonful of chili paste. We mix everything first and then you can taste the soup. <clears throat> wow. And this is the mantis shrimp, which is why this salt so famous. You want me to make the slurp sound? Next up is Ravi Devi and his wife who have been cooking Indian appam since 1974. From 7.30, we started our fire here. I prepared the fire. Oh. From 7.30 until around 11 to 12 o'clock, we non-stop the keep on going. This is what we're doing, the egg, sugar, all mixed together. Okay. Started the, the clay pot. That was the original one on the both sides we're doing. But now the clay pot not lasting at those days. So this is the made um, pan from India, from Bombay. Oh, okay. Especially for appam, non-sick pan. You must make it crispy. All right. When you eat, you can feel the crunchiness and fluffy in the middle. And fluffy in the middle. Yeah. Having tasted authentic Indian food in Georgetown, we are now heading to Balik Pulau for some asam laksa. Asam laksa. Uh, this particular stall is so special that they make uh, their own noodles and they are usually springier and bouncier as compared to other uh, places. So they are assembling a bowl of asam laksa. It has got onions, cucumber, lettuce, pineapple and mint leaves inside. Asam laksa is believed that uh, it's originated from uh, Peranakan cuisine. So Peranakan refers to the intermarriage between the Malay descendants and the Chinese. So we have one bowl of asam laksa over here. It's homemade rice noodles. So it has a chewier texture as compared to other uh, places. I couldn't find a table. That's why I'm standing. A short ferry ride across to the mainland is a hidden gem filled with the flavor of Malaysia. We are here at uh, Sungai Dua. Butterworth. We are about to try the famous mi udang over here at our garden. So, other special? Uh, okay. Mi, mi udang. Uh, mi. So, mi udang is a type of prawn noodles served with a very thick and rich seafood broth. Um, you can actually add all these fresh prawns, crabs, shrimps, and all that uh, into your mi udang. Please. It's famous for its thick and rich broth, which the recipe has been passed down since 40 years, 50 years back. It has a hint of peanut inside, and the flavors are fully accentuated from the seafood. You can also add in your homemade pickled chilies, but they're really, really hot, so be careful with that. Wow, that's really hot. So today's last stop is Hamidia, famous for serving nasi kanda for more than 100 years. <laughs> the usual plate of nasi kanda would consist of boiled egg, fried chicken and veggies and um, drenched with plenty of uh, curries over there. We don't buy commercial spices and cook our curry, we do our own. Oh okay, pounding yeah. and all that. Yeah, pounding everything, that's you know. 
Now there's an upstairs pool. Uh, you have to go to the next shop. The marriage between a Malay and Indian are known as the Mama. So um, the Malay learned the use of all these various types of herbs and spices from the Indians. It's the cultural mix that makes life here in Penang so spicy. But as for me, I'm stuffed. I'm heading home for a nap. This film was made possible by a grant from Think City. Team 108 from Singapore generously provided a Sanquin microphone, Genlex speakers, and a Fireface interface for the post production. And Canon Malaysia provided a 5,000 lumen projector to make it possible to screen the films throughout Georgetown during the Georgetown Festival. You can find out more at www.oxley.com.